Well, happy Monday and uh, thanks for checking in today. And I hope and pray that you and your family had a wonderful weekend. I know my family was able to enjoy the great Minnesota weather this weekend and it was a delight to get out and enjoy it. I was looking back in one of my Bibles and it was a Bible that I had when I was in high school and I went on a retreat. And in this passage of 1 Timothy 4.12, there's a side note that I wrote from the speaker and it said thermostat or thermometers. And it was kind of interesting because right now we're hearing a lot about thermometers, right? I mean, there are people taking your temperature when you go to the doctor's office or going to other places. And so people are checking to make sure that you have the right temperature and that you are safe. Well, anybody can be a measure of a temperature. I mean, the culture can define who you are about your temperature. You kind of want to fit in and just get by with what you need to do. And one of my notes here in my Bible reads, I just want to read it to you. It says, anyone can be a measure of temperature by observing what others think and how they live. And, and I thought that's so true. I mean, we kind of just sometimes slide by. And I know when I wrote this as a kid, I'm thinking, I'm just a high schooler. I I just want to get by and not rattle too many things. But the speaker goes on and says, have you thought about being a thermostat? And his note that I wrote down here in my Bible for thermostat, this is what it says. It says, um, they are people of integrity. They set the temperature of their culture by following God's word. And, and that's where he was going here with Paul. And it's a reminder to me that here in Timothy, it says, be an example, set that example to all believers. And so when you look at this passage from 1 Timothy 4.12, it's, in its completeness, it says, don't, don't let anyone think less of you because you're young. Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, in your faith, and in your purity. Yeah, I mean, Paul here is really encouraging all of us to be an example, to set that example, to set that dial, to set that thermostat so that you can be a person of integrity and that you um, don't just go with the flow, but that you set the tone of the culture, that you set the tone of your life. And it's almost a, a lot similar to what Romans 12 too is saying, don't conform to the patterns of the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And so as we look at 2 Timothy here, or sorry, 1 Timothy, and we look at even that Romans passage, how can you be a playmaker in setting the dial, setting the tone for your life, setting the tone for others to walk beside you and, and follow you and not conform to the patterns of this world? And so, uh, again, as we think through this, just think about how God's word and God's truth can change our hearts, can change our minds, and even change who we are. And so this week, I, I just pray for you as youth and adults out there to think about ways that you can be a person of integrity and that you can set an example, no matter how old you are. But think about yourself being a thermostat and not a thermometer this week. Talk to you guys later.